Hi, it's Miss Parrot, and this video is about how to calculate molar mass. Molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of an element or compound. And where do we find this mass? Well, you can find it on the periodic table. In each box at the top is the atomic number. That's just the number of protons. Each has a mass of one AMU. The same is true for neutrons. Neutrons also have a mass of one AMU. So at the bottom of the periodic table box, you will find the mass of that element. So, because this represents the number of protons and neutrons. The tools you'll need are a periodic table, a calculator, and of course, a pencil. Let's do some examples while holding all this stuff. <laughs> all right. So my first example is sodium hydroxide, NaOH. That's made of three different elements, sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. And there's one of each. So I look at the numbers at the bottom, and I'll add those up. So it'll be 22.99 plus 16.00 plus 1.01. Then, I'll put this in my calculator, and that equals 40.00. That's the molar mass of one mole of sodium hydroxide. Now let's try sulfuric acid. This one's a little different because it has subscripts. Subscripts represent the number of atoms of each type within a compound. So in this case, I have two hydrogens. Sulfur doesn't have a subscript, and so we understand that as one. We have one sulfur, and then four oxygen atoms in one sulfuric acid um, molecule. So I'm gonna take H, this is it on the periodic table, 1.01, and in this case, since I have two atoms of that, I'm going to multiply that by two. 32.07 is it for sulfur, multiplied by one, because I just have one of those. And oxygen is 16. I'm going to multiply that by four to get my final answer. So let's do that in our calculator. So this is going to be 2.02 plus... 32.07 plus 16 times 4 is 64.00. Add those three up. 2.02 plus 32.07 plus 64 equals 98.09. 98.09. Oh, and that's grams. Right? It's the mass in grams of one mole of this. So one mole of H2SO4, it has a mass of 98.09 grams. Let's try a couple more examples um, because compounds can be written in lots of different ways. All right. Periodic table. Lead carbonate. So it looks like I have one lead one carbon, and four oxygens. So lead uh, is right here, PB number 82, so that's 207.2 .2 for lead, plus carbon is 12.01, plus, well, we just did oxygen is 16 times four is 64, so we'll do 16 times four, and then let's add them all up. This is gonna be pretty big. 207, because lead there is large, plus 207.2, sorry, plus 12.01, plus 64. 283.21 grams. 21 grams in one mole of PBCO4. 
Now we can use this as a conversion factor in like a stoichiometry problem. All right, now let's try magnesium hydroxide. This one, we have magnesium, which is Mg24.31. Now, OH is in parentheses with a 2, which means we're going to have 2 of everything inside the parentheses. So if oxygen is 16, we're going to have 16 times 2. So we'll do 16.00 times 2 plus hydrogen, 1.01 .01 times 2. All right, and then let's add it all up. So... 24.31 for magnesium plus 32 for the two oxygens plus 2.02 for the two hydrogens is 58.33 grams right in one mole of MgOH2. All right, now this one this one's a little, it, it uses the same rules as this, but we just have to remember that we're going to distribute this three outside the parentheses onto every element inside the parentheses. So nitrogen, I have, so well, let's just find on the periodic table, 14.01. And I'm going to multiply that times three. This is for nitrogen. And then what about hydrogen? Hydrogen, we know from before, is 1.01. .01. But how many? So we're going to multiply. There's four inside, so we do four times three. So that's going to be, we're going to multiply this by 12. Four times three is 12. Then we have one phosphorus. Phosphorus is 30.97. And then four oxygens again, so um, that's 16.00 times four, which will be 64. So 14.01 times three is 42.03 plus 12 times 1.01 .01 is 12.12. .12 plus 30.97, just one of those, plus 64 for oxygens. And then we add them all up. 42.03 plus 12.12 .12 plus 30.97 plus 64 equals 149, 149.12. 12. So one mole of ammonium phosphate, which is NH43PO4, oh, four down here, has a mass of 149.12 grams.